I wonder how many photos Maradona's uh, been asked for over the years. I hate to think. It'd be quite a few, I'd reckon. Anyway, we're very nearly ready to go here in the final of the Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2012. Last year, remember, Russia 5, Brazil 4 after extra time. Lots of music, lots of excitement, everyone having a great time. Face painting, thunder sticks. And we're green for go. It's going to be Brazil who'll get us underway. In their traditional yellow shirts, white shorts this evening. And they're kicking from uh, right to left with Bruno Malaes, tackled by Skarin. Igor Shaikov's in there, just wide. Shaikov very much back to his goal scoring form yesterday with four goals against Nigeria in the semi final. As Russia's top scorer in the World Cup last year with eight goals. Bruno Malaes chests the ball forward to uh, Jorginho who went down. No foul. And the overhead from Makarov, just wide. Russia winning by 12 goals to 8 in the World Cup final last year. Brazil's heaviest ever loss, and that despite the fact that Andre, who's playing this evening, he got six goals for Brazil in that game. It really was uh, a rout as far as Russia were concerned. Shaikov, he got two in that final. Two for Leonev, two for Eremev. Two for Makarov, a hat-trick for Shishin. And Shishin got a hat-trick in the final of this competition last year. Shaykov and Leonov, the other scorers for Russia. Brazil's goal scorers uh, in the match last year. Fernando today. Anderson and uh, Jorginho. Fernando today getting two. Bruno Malaes is through, just wide. Bruno Malaes scored yesterday against the UAE. Two goals in the tournament so far. Really is great atmosphere here. This match starting a little bit late. Scheduled to get underway at 8.30. With the delay because of uh, the third and fourth place playoff that went into extra time. Here's Fernando today. He's had his shooting boots on in this tournament. Eight goals for him. And with Bartholomew Ibn Egbu not playing in that previous match. Top of the shop on nine at the moment. So two goals for Fernando today. And that'll take him to uh, the leading scorer in this tournament if he can manage it. Crashing in a cough. Shot blocked by Fernando today. Top scorer in the tournament uh, last year was uh, Dejan Stankovic of Switzerland with 11 goals. 118 goals in the tournament last year. And already we've had 139 this time. Incredible. Action's been absolutely wonderful. Flipped forward for Shishin. Mao in there. And he's clobbered straight into Shishin there, who really is in a bit of pain. The right hand side of the rib cage. And if you're hit by someone like Mao, he was quite clearly going for the ball there. There was uh, no, no problem, no intent to uh, cause uh, difficulty for Shishin. But if you're hit by someone like Mao, you feel it. He's put Litsky. He's a big man, Mao. Shishin with uh, five goals in the tournament so far. He's got eight in this tournament last year. But Litsky bowling the ball out, and that was Makarov's overhead. Then to the side netting there from Bruno Malaes. It's 
a great time of the year in the UAE when the temperature is very pleasant. Of course, we've got the Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi taking place tomorrow, the Formula One Grand Prix. But if you're not into Grand Prix racing, you've got the option of beach soccer here. Jorginho. Scarlin cuts it out. Bruno Malayas is in there. In the end, ball's got back to Butlitsky. Leonev looking for Skarin at the back post with the header. Mao's big right hand does enough. He's in a bit of pain though and he's thrown the ball away. And he'll require some treatment now. So it's been a bit of a stop start affair this so far, hasn't it? Yeah, he just twisted himself, I think, as he tried to get back to his feet. Great stop, and then when he got back to his feet, just twisted the knee, I think. He missed the game against Switzerland because he was sent off against Japan. He's in some pain there, Mao. He was the goalkeeper of the tournament last year. The Brazil fans making heaps of noise. Very difficult to see anyone sat down there, isn't it? Well, the Russian fans seem to be sat down. Uh, Mao is in some severe difficulty here that was the save and then when he got up he twisted his knee and they've called for the stretcher in fact uh, he's holding his thigh there his right thigh but this is not a good sign the only consolation Brazil have got is that Leandro who kept goal in that game against Switzerland and for part of the game against Japan after Mao was sent off. Well, uh, he did a very fine job indeed. But this is a very worrying sign for Brazil. Not even four minutes gone. And they could be losing uh, one of their main players here. Let's hope he's just going off for a little bit of treatment and he's going to be able to come back on. But looking at his reaction there, he is in severe pain. And here's Leandro. Seven years of age, Leandro. One of only uh, four players in the squad, in fact, who's under 30. Very experienced squad, 31 years of age, the average age for Brazil. The oldest squad in this uh, Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup. Makarov, that's wide of the target. Bruno Malayas. Oh, he's set up Jorginho. He's gone round the keeper. Has he got it in? Oh, it's off the post. Bruno Malayas with the back heel. And here come Russia. Makarov, yes! Oh, what a strike! Brilliant! Alexei Makarov. What a time to score your first goal in the tournament. So prolific in the past for Russia. He's been a bit goal shy in this tournament so far. Hadn't got off the mark, but he has now. 1-0 to Russia, the world champions ahead, and their fans ecstatic. What a strike that is, right in the top corner. Couldn't have placed it any better, absolutely unstoppable. And that just seconds after Jorginho had hit the post at the other end. Coach Mik Mikhail uh, Likachev trying to impart some uh, information to his substitutes. Makarov, though, a well deserved sit down for him. What a strike that was. Sydney at the other end tries to get a shot in, blocked by Krashen Inagov. Well, Brazil, they've done things the hard way in this tournament so far. Oh, that was good skill from Gilles. Brought down by. Uh, Dimitri Shishin and the referee Mr. Uh, Namazov from Uzbekistan just having a quiet word with uh, Shishin there and saying no more of that please it's just inside the Brazilian half so it means that the players can be goal side 
but nobody is allowed to encroach between the ball and the goal apart from the goalkeeper that line until the ball is actually touched by uh, someone other than the uh, man who's striking it now that's going to be Gilles strikes it well and uh, but Litsky gets it around the post corner taken by Benjamin the veteran 42 years of age looks for Sydney it's over the top of him and Krasininikov now picks it up Litsky gets it to Krasininikov and the shot comes in from Shishin Sydney hasn't scored in the tournament so far at least at the right end scored an own goal against the UAE yesterday the first goal for the UAE was actually credited to him officially beaten away by Butlitsky then hacked away by Gorshinsky Sydney got two goals in this tournament last year Fernando Dede it's cut out by Krasininikov on the volley but wide of the mark Fernando today finds Sydney makes room for a shot it's blocked by Gorshinsky and then the shot comes in from Mac from uh, Shishin awkward bounce and it's pushed away in the end by Leandro for the corner so over halfway through this first period and Russia hold the advantage can they add to it Krasininikov with the corner goes to the near post and very nearly from that almost impossible angle curls it into the net everyone was expecting the corner to be taken out wide and he almost fooled absolutely everybody Vatina tricky skills from him and uh, hooked away in the end by Gorshinsky Leandro bowls it to Sydney. Flicked inside. Oh, and uh, beaten away by Leandro. Benjamin miscontrolled, gave it to Crash and Inikos, and his snapshot was dealt with, and then a shot at the other end, or to the other end, by uh, Gilles. Litsky under pressure from Detina. Leonev. The Russians have uh, certainly been the most impressive side in this tournament so far. 26 goals they've scored now. No side scored more than that. Down goes Makarov. And that's going to be a free kick. And a yellow card as well. The referee having none of the protestations. Said Russia were the top scorers, of course, with 26. And uh, they were at the start of the day. But uh, Nigeria have overtaken them now with uh, 27. That's uh, the foul from uh, Datina. Or the challenge that was a judge to be a foul. And the booking as well. And Datina having a sit down. Having conceded that free kick. So Makarov, he scored one today already. Can he score another? Here he comes, right footed, strikes it beautifully and pushed over the top by Leandro. That was heading goalwards. Corner then to Russia. Skarin's gonna take it. Lots of movement. And Benjamin chasing after that one. And But Litsky brave with the clearance. Wasn't sure whether it was inside the area or not. So he went with his feet and ended up colliding with Benjamin as a result in 
a bit of pain, the big fella there. 30 years of age. Golden glove in the World Cup last, but be happy, I think. And there's some uh, dignitaries. Benjamin, Sydney, and Andre are in there as well. But in the end, it's uh, Leonev who gets it back to his keeper. Oh, and ghosting in at the back was Makarov. Andre with the shot, wide of the mark. Shaikov looking to turn and does so and scores. Oh, that's a good goal. Igor Shaikov. 2-0 to Russia. And Shaikov very much back to his best now. His sixth goal of the tournament. And with just over three minutes to go in this first period, Russia have some breathing space. Leandro beaten. Shaikov doing oh so well there. The close attention of Sydney, but it wasn't close enough. Just wriggled clear, got enough space, got the shot in, and wrong-footed Leandro. 2-0. Oh, yes. That's what it means to Likachev. And for Shaikov, it's his sixth goal of the tournament. Got four yesterday against Nigeria in the semi-final. And Brazil now with their backs to the wall. Another shot. Now Eromev on the sand for the first time this evening. And straight away threatening. Igor Eromev. Six goals for him in the tournament. So uh, with that goal, Shaikov joining Eromev as uh, Russia's leading scorer in the tournament. Good work from Gorshinsky. Sets up Eromev. Good tackle though from Benjamin. It's still there though. And Gorshinsky doesn't get the touch he wanted. Sydney on the overlap, but cut out by Krasininikov. Andre, what an electric turn of pace that is. Gets it across the face of goal, a veteran, 35 years of age. But no one on the end of it. Guga, a worried man, I'm sure. Brazilian fans very subdued now. They were making lots of noise before the start of this match. Not much noise at the moment. But if there's one thing Brazil have shown themselves to be in this tournament, it's resilient. The overhead and then the shot from Krasininikov, palmed away by Leandro. It was Shishin with the overhead, came to Krasininikov. And Leandro had to make the save to the back post. Shishin was there, but so was Fernando today. And that's a goal kick. Andre, that's a snapshot, trying to catch Butlitsky out. Doesn't manage to do so. It's opened up a little bit for Scar in there. Bit of room for Makarov. Policed by two players. He's still going though. He's done so well. Gets the cross in. And Sydney with a very important header away. Russia asking all the questions at the moment. Oh, it's in. Somehow it's gone in. Shaikov at the back post. It ricocheted, I think, off uh, Fernando Dede there as well. Whether that will go down as a goal for Shaikov, I'm not sure, but he's claiming it. And with just 25 seconds left at the end of this first period, Russia have a vice like grip on this match now. Leonev with the throw. Shaikov with the header. And he might not have known an awful lot about it, but it's in the back of the net, and that's all that counts. Certainly as far as he's concerned, 
Look at Likachev, jumping up and down like a 10 year old. 3 0. And those fans pretty happy as well. Russia bossing this game at the moment. And the 13 times world champions, Brazil, have got it all to do. Well, this certainly wasn't in the script. We were expecting a very tight encounter, but at the moment, Russia fully uh, bossing this game. And they're looking for another one before the interval. They're not going to get the opportunity, though. That's going to be the last action of this first period, and what a period it's been. Three goals to Russia, two to Sheikhov, who's now... Got and what a start it's been by Russia. The world champions living up to that tag in no uncertain terms. Three goals for the good, and they're going to kick us off. Makarov and two from Sheikhov. Just making sure that everything's okay. Mr. Abdulaziz Abdullah on that far side. One of the four officials in this match. Just wide from Eremev. One of the Brazilian fans who are making so much noise before the start of this game. They're not making much noise now. Brazil, though, they came back in remarkable fashion against Switzerland in their last group game. 3-1 down with two minutes to go, and they won 4-3 without even the need for extra time. Headed uh, goalwards by Bruno Malaes, easily gathered by Butlitsky. Krashen Inikov, who uh, played for a Brazilian side in the Club World Cup, that took place in May, played for Corinthians. Nine of this Russian squad played in the Club World Cup. Five of them for the winning team, Lokomotiv Moscow. Three for Barcelona and one for Corinthians. The Brazilian squad, 11 of the 12 players played in the Club World Cup. The only one who didn't was Leandro, the goalkeeper. Shot. It was Bruno Malayas in the end, I think, who were deflected it behind. And oh, off the bar! Shishin with the scissor kick. Bounced up, beat Leandro, but didn't beat the crossbar. Datina's in there. So close to a fourth for Russia there. And also very close to a fourth. Krashen Inikov again, just wide of the upright. Russia asking all the questions at the moment. Brazil, as yet, don't seem to have the answers. going to do to turn things round Brazil so much class both on the pitch and on the bench but uh, the same could be said of Russia Russia runners up in the World Cup qualifier that took place in Moscow in July they lost to Spain in the final there it's uh, Spain Russia Ukraine and uh, the Netherlands as that one's kicked away by uh, in and Makarov getting a shot in which is pushed away by Leandro Brazil still to play their qualifiers for uh, the World Cup which takes place in Tahiti next year to the back post Bruno Malayas with a defensive header shot on the turn from Shaikov it's in oh it deflected off Gilles but Shaikov will claim it and he will claim the hat-trick a fourth for Russia Igor Shaikov, four yesterday, three today. It wasn't cleared the corner. And Shaikov got the shot in and it looped up off Gilles. It was heading goalwards anyway, but that deflection took it over Leandro. Bruno Malayas couldn't get to it. And uh, a fourth for Russia. Well, well. And again, Likachev. Jumping up and down. And Russia will feel they've got one hand 
back on the trophy they won last year. They're the holders of this Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup. And just over the top, Gilles. But Litsky got a hand to it. And he's demanding his team don't let up. Maintain your concentration, he says. To the back post, Bruno Malias. Across the face of goal. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Igor Shaikov has made himself a contender to be the top scorer in the tournament. Up until at the start of the semi-final yesterday, he'd scored just one goal in the tournament. Now he's got eight. It's the same number he scored in the World Cup last year. Russia's top scorer then. He's right back in form. And uh, what a time to find your form. Such a predator. And there's Makarov who scored the first goal. Gilles. Swept across the face of goal. Bruno Malayas is there, but no change out of this Russian defence. Means a lot to Russia, this. Not only the fact that they're the holders, but also the fact that their crown of invincibility has slipped a little bit in the last few months. The fact that they weren't able to go on and win the World Cup qualifier. Spain beat them in the final. Also the fact that they lost the final of the European Beach uh, Soccer Super League. Sorry, the, uh, the super final of the European uh, Beach Soccer Super League. They lost that to uh, Switzerland. It was in the Netherlands in uh, August. It was after a period when uh, Russia really did appear to be invincible. He won the European uh, Beach Soccer Cup, which took place indoors in Moscow in February. That was after winning the, uh, the Super League last August in Moscow, and of course winning the World Cup, and winning here in Dubai last November. And they're getting their hunger back here, there's no doubt about that. And uh, perhaps their performances here showing the value of the fact that they've... Uh, been in Dubai for some time. They came here early to prepare for this tournament, played a couple of friendlies, or warm-up fixtures we'll call them, against the UAE. Andre, no change off the defence again. There's warm-up fixtures as uh, Gilles commits the foul. On Gorshinsky, just about on the halfway line. There's warm-up fixtures for Russia. They won them by uh, four goals to three and six goals to five against the UAE. So uh, Brazil half. It is according to the official there, Mr. Namazov. So it means that all the players have to be behind the ball. And Gorshinsky, who scored one goal in this tournament so far, that's against the UAE. in the uh, last group game 3-2 win for Russia oldest man on the sand for Russia Yuri Gorshinsky, 35 years of age Puppy steps oh, and almost passes that ball into the far corner struck it so sweetly just past the upright though and back doing defensive duties then Chipped forward. And Andre goes down. And what's the referee given there? Oh, he's given a penalty. Andre's gone down. And the players, there was some confusion as to what the referee had given initially there. Well, you make up your own mind whether there was any contact there. Crashing Inikov certainly wasn't. Andre didn't seem to uh, make a big deal of it. He didn't seem to be appealing for any penalty kick at all. But the referee on that far side, Mr. Abdulaziz Abdullah, 
he was certain with what he'd seen. And is this a p potential lifeline for Brazil? Andre. Six goals in this tournament last year. But a very quiet tournament for him this far, just two against Japan. Now, though, he's got the opportunity to uh, open Brazil's account. We're just over halfway through the second period. Taking a very long run here. Andre against Butlitsky. And it's saved! And the chance of a follow-up. And that's saved as well. Great stop, Butlitsky. The Russian fans on their feet. They love it. Thunder sticks being beaten together. And that just about sums up Brazil's day so far. Eremev goes for the header, punched away by Leandro. Benjamin. Good tackle by Krashen Inikov. He can break away now. Oh, it gets the ball to Eremev, who puts it over. Goodness me. The ball may have bobbled at an inopportune moment, but really, that was an open goal. And Igor Eremev won't get many chances as good as that in his whole career. Least of all against Brazil. Well, well, well. At one end, we've seen a penalty missed, albeit a great save from Butlitsky. And then, one of the misses of the tournament. Benjamin puts it across the face of goal, defended by Shushin. And that's wide of the mark from Benjamin. Oh, the Brazil fans remain very quiet. The Russian fans are making most of the noise. In this two and a half thousand uh, seat stadium specially built for this Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup. Took four days to construct. Benjamin. Fernando today. Now they could do with another goal from him now. Eight in the tournament so far. Leandro drills it goalwards. But uh, Brazil looking a little short of ideas at the moment. Russia. Just nine goals conceded in the tournament thus far. Easily the most miserly defence on show of the eight teams. And they're showing exactly why. Shaikov goes down. And the uh, free kick is given. In fact, it's a penalty just inside the area, according to uh, the official, Mr. Namazov. The challenge made by Benjamin. And Mr. Namazov in uh, the perfect position to see that that was just inside the area. Benjamin convinced it wasn't. Shaikov holding his shin. Benjamin's taking a blow on the foot, so he's going to have to go off. And Shaikov has got the opportunity to score a fourth. That will be his ninth of the tournament if he pops this one in taking him level with Bartholomew Ibn Egbu of Nigeria. What an end to this tournament for Igor Shaikov. Scored after five seconds of Russia's first game against the USA, straight from the kickoff. And then for the rest of that game and the next two matches, didn't score. Well, he's made up for that since, hasn't he? 4-0 to Russia then. Could this be five? Shaikov against Leandro. It is five. Drilled in by Igor Shaikov. Four for him. Five for Russia. And it's one way traffic at the moment. And that traffic is on the road to Moscow. Five nil. Absolutely unbelievable. Thumped in. Just beat Leandro for power there. It wasn't all that far away from the goalkeeper. Four to Shaikov, five to Russia. 
remarkable. Well, Brazil hadn't looked at their best in this tournament thus far. And, uh, well, they're being uh, made to pay in the uh, toughest possible way. Oh, a shot coming in from Sydney, just wide. Five nil then. Just under three minutes to go in this uh, second period. Next up for Brazil after this tournament. In a couple of weeks' time. As what a great goal that is! Oh, it's Fernando today! Well, we were wondering if he was going to uh, pop up on the score sheet. He has now. 5-1. A ninth goal of the tournament for him. Great overhead. And seemingly out of nothing, Brazil finally get on the scoreboard, much to the relief of their fans. Look at that for a finish. So spectacular. Flying across his goal is Butlitsky, but he can't keep that one out. Muted celebrations, though, from Fernando today. His ninth goal of the tournament. Got two in the final against Russia last year. And a 5 4 loss. And uh, you know Brazil would like uh, another two from him now. Still, Russia absolutely in charge. 5 1. Just saying before uh, Fernando today scored that goal that uh, Brazil's next action in a couple of weeks' time at the uh, Beach Soccer US Indoor Championships in Florida. Good tackle from Eremev. Sends it goalwards and great save, Leandro. He was off his line and he was in mid air to push that one over the top. Igor Eremev, he may have missed that sitter a little earlier. He's still very much on the goal trail. And now all of a sudden it's uh, shishing at the back post. Just wide. That tournament uh, for Brazil in a couple of weeks time in uh, Florida. It involves not only themselves and the USA, but also Spain, Mexico, Venezuela and Colombia. What a strike! 6 1 Russia. Well, they may have missed a tap in a bit earlier, but they haven't done too many tap ins there. What a goal, Dmitry Shishin. His sixth goal of the tournament. And it's difficult to think of any of the others that have been as good as that right in the top corner. Again, absolutely unstoppable. What a strike, poor old Leandro, and look at Likachev, look at Shishin, 6-1, Dimitri Shishin, got eight goals in this tournament last year, including a hat-trick in the final against Brazil, he's on the uh, scoreboard now. Inside the last minute of this second period. So seven goals in this final already. Takes us up to a total of 146 in the tournament. Remarkable. Same number of games last tournament here in Dubai, and we had 118 goals. Absolutely amazing. Goals right, left, and center. Wonderful entertainment. And we've still got another 12 minutes at least of that to go. 
And the Russians look so hungry. Shaikov, what a good run. Still going. Oh, in the end, a great save from Leandro. What a fantastic run from Igor Shaikov. Really almost deserved a goal. It's a corner. Is there time for Russia to get uh, another goal? Down goes Shaikov in the penalty area and a challenge from Fernando today. What's the referee going to decide here? Having a chat with both players, in fact, and saying no body contact, please, guys. None of the argy bargy, please. So the clock stopped with just under six seconds to go. Skarin's going to take the corner. And uh, Dettina comes away with it. And that should be the last action of this second period. Indeed it is. The Russian fans on their feet to applaud their team. 6-1 then. And there's the uh, wrestling match just before the uh, whistle or the hooter at the end of the second period. Fernando today scored Brazil's only goal. But Shaikov with four. Max 6-1 up. And they've completely overwhelmed Brazil so far. And it's going to take an absolute miracle for Brazil to get back into this match from this position. Here we go. Third and final period. Russia kicking off from left to right on your screens. And that shot from Shishin, who scored the sixth goal for Russia. And what a peach it was. Four goals for Igor Shaikov, one for Alexei Makarov, and Brazil's only response through uh, Fernando today, and that was a special goal in itself. Russia then 31 goals in the tournament so far. Oh, and Andre, that's come along very nicely for him, and he's overcooked the pass when he had the opportunity to put it on a plate for Benjamin. And again, that really does sum up the uh, evening for Brazil. Nothing's gone right for them at all. They've lost their, uh, their goalkeeper. And uh, they're going for broke now with uh, Leandro coming off and uh, Jorginho coming on. He's going to be the uh, the goalkeeper, but in effect, they're playing with five outfield players now. And there was a problem there in terms of the substitution with uh, Jorginho, I think, coming on to the sand before Leandro left the sand. And so what that means is there's uh, a, a free kick. Free kick is going to take place on the halfway line. And Leandro's back on the sand to try and stop it. And wouldn't you know it, it's going to be uh, Krashen Inikov who's going to uh, strike this one. He's had a quiet game in front of goal, Yuri Krashen Inikov. Two goals against uh, the USA. Passes it basically to uh, Leandro. Not one of his better shots, that. But uh, Brazil showing their hand there by uh, going for uh, that fifth outfield player. And I'm, I'm sure that substitution will follow very quickly. Korshinsky couldn't keep that one in. And it's going to happen now, that substitution. Indeed it has. I saw Russia do this in the uh, World Cup qualifying event in Moscow earlier this year they played with five outfield players at one point in a game where they were absolutely cruising so it's not unprecedented but it's a, an illustration of the fact they really have to go for broke to try and get back into this uh, match Fernando today Here is Jorginho, which opened up for him, beaten away by Butlitsky. 
And then the shot from Benjamin is wide. Leonev. All due respect to uh, Jorginho. He's obviously not going to be in the class of Leandro, or Mao for that matter, who uh, was lost in the first period to uh, what appeared to be quite a nasty leg injury. So Russia really, if they can continue to play in the way they have done in the first two periods, then uh, they can certainly uh, make Jorginho's life something of a misery. Time ticking down, less than nine minutes to go. Brazil somehow have to find five goals. Jorginho, oh, and he's dispossessed. And easy as you like, slotted in by Alexei Makarov. And that is an illustration of the uh, fact that Brazil really were playing with fire. They had to go for broke. They've done exactly that and it's cost them dear on that occasion. Not having the specialist goalkeeper there. And Jorginho dispossessed. And Makarov slotting home, cool as you like. His second goal, Russia's seventh. Look at the reaction on the bench. Alexei Makarov. Well, no goals for him in the tournament prior to tonight. And now he's got two. Seven one then. Absolutely remarkable. Brazil wouldn't have suffered too many heavier losses than this in the whole of their history in beach soccer. Beaten away, what a strong right hand that was from Butlitsky. Russia, in fact, inflicted the uh, heaviest defeat ever on Brazil in this sport. In terms of uh, the goals that Brazil conceded in that World Cup final in Ravenna in uh, Italy last year, 12-8. Oh, it's in! A goal, Fernando today will claim it. Went in off uh, Skarin, but I'm sure Fernando today will uh, want that one because it will take him to 10 and uh, that will make him the uh, leading scorer in the tournament. It was going goal bound, but whether it would have gone in or not, I don't know. Certainly went in after that deflection off Skarin. So, Brazil pull a goal back, but they're still five behind. And they have precious little time to get those five goals back. Leandro's back in goal now. In fact, uh, no sooner had he been back on the sand that they've opted to uh, go back to uh, Jorginho again. So they just must feel that that goal has given them an opportunity, albeit a slim one. Fernando today shoots again, and Leonov deflects it behind for a corner. Andre's going to take it. Goes to Benjamin, who doesn't catch it anywhere near as he would like. Eremev. Goes down from the challenge from Benjamin, who uh, claims that Eremev dived. No foul given there, though, by uh, the uh, official. Jorginho gets the shot in just over the top. Frustration for Guga. And uh, his expression said it all there, didn't he? It? It's been a disastrous night for Russia, for uh, Brazil. It really has. They've looked second best. Everything they've tried has not come off. Russia, by contrast, have looked absolutely in control.
Jorginho, again, lovely skills from him. Always oh, picked out to Tina at the back post. In the end, it was neither fish nor foul from him. It wasn't a, a cross to the back post towards Fernando today, or indeed a shot. Frustration for Guga. Now the Brazilian fans who came here in their numbers to enjoy some sort of samba party. Well, I'm certainly not enjoying this uh, encounter. Oh, it's come uh, through to Detina. Good work from Gorshinsky, though. Still there, though. Bruno Malaise, yes! Passed it into the far corner. And that cuts the deficit to four. 7-3, just over halfway through the third and final period. Bruno Malayas gets his third goal of the tournament. Lovely finish, that. Slide rule accuracy. Like threading the eye of a needle. You wouldn't have thought there was a gap there. But he found it. And Brazil still alive, just. The 149th goal of this tournament. And the Brazilian fans making a little bit of noise. They'll make a lot more noise if uh, they can get a couple more goals back in quick succession. Aramev. And now that goal has gone in. Brazil have opted to uh, go back to uh, Leandro again. And in fact, having done that, they've now uh, put Jorginho back in goal. So uh, what they're doing clearly is uh, whenever they have a kickoff, they put the specialist keeper in, and then as soon as they're able after that uh, kickoff for Russia, Jorginho goes back onto the sand. Here he is now. Finds Fernando today. And it's deflected off Eremev just over the top. Russia looking just a little bit nervous here. They shouldn't be. They've still got that four-goal cushion, and we're into the last five minutes. Jorginho! Oh! Just wide! What a great save that is! Super stop by Butlitsky. It's a wonderful strike. And the Russian goalkeeper had to be equal to it, palming it away. It looks for all the world as though it was in. Look at the reaction of Guga. Headed out by Leonev. Time ticks away. Just over four minutes to go. And Brazil are going to have to uh, outdo their comeback against Switzerland. If they're going to uh, even force extra time here. Come back against Switzerland, remember a couple of nights ago. We were 3-1 down with two minutes to go and 1-4-3. And they do something similar this evening. Hooked clear by Fernando today. Krasininikov happy to take his time or as much time as he can. Once he has the ball in his hand, he's got to get it in play by uh, in five seconds. Good work from Makarov. And uh, Jorginho comes and gets it, and then falls over, claims he was fouled. The referee's having none of it. Benjamin, back to his keeper. Lifted forward. Fernando today with the shot. And Andre puts it over from point blank range. Was it going in anyway? Well, they're the sort of margins that count. And swept across the face of the goal from point-blank range. Makarov. And that really would uh, have sealed the game. Jorginho. Top! Brave goalkeeping from Butlitsky. And it had to be, too. He's down and he's stayed down. Trainer will come on.
coming forward to punch that ball. This is at the other end. That was uh, Makarov just sweeping it across the face of goal with a cold spray on the shoulder there. The Russian fans making all the noise and the Brazilian fans quite crestfallen. And they're doing their best to uh, lift their side now, being egged on by the public address announcer. In the meantime, it's going to be a corner. Bruno Malaes is going to take it and punched away again by Butletsky. Brave keeping once more. Jorginho, two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes from what will surely, it's handball. Skarin conceding that handball just inside the uh, Russian half. So that means the free kick can be taken with uh, all the players behind the ball. Nobody's allowed to be in front of the ball apart from the goalkeeper. And there it is. It's uh, clear as day, that. But uh, Russia now on the brink of retaining this Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup. Nice bit of silverware for the mantelpiece or the trophy cabinet. But Benjamin's got other ideas. The veteran, over 300 caps, debut back in 1996 for Brazil. And he steps up now and drives it low, just wide. Shade the post. But Litsky bowls the ball forward, finds Krashen in a cough. Jorginho is there, just two minutes to go. Bruno Malays. Krashen in a cough. Oh, what a good save from Jorginho. Missed his calling, perhaps. Normally an outfield player, but uh, showing he's uh, perfectly uh, capable in defensive duties. Clash of heads there. But there was a play on. And Jorginho producing an absolute wonder save. And Russia happy just to uh, knock the ball back to Butlitsky. Why not? Pushed forward. Andre trying to uh, wriggle clear. Section conceded by Krasininikov. Benjamin goes back to Jorginho. Fernando today, less than 90 seconds, and uh, Jorginho into the crowd, That's where the, uh, the Swiss players are sitting, and the Tahiti players too, they're watching the action and enjoying it, as is uh, everyone in this uh, purpose-built stadium for this event, two and a half thousand fans here, and they've uh, witnessed a beach soccer masterclass from Russia, they really have. Jorginho beaten away Andre's there but Litsky again gets a face full of sand for his trouble absolutely uh, caked in sand the Russian keeper but he won't mind if it means he picks up the silverware at the end of the evening as seems absolutely certain now he wasn't preferred in goal at the start of any of Russia's previous games. He started today, and indeed he's finished. And that's got to be uh, a penalty, surely. Indeed it has. Given against uh, Dmitry Shishin for the foul on Andre. Bang, down goes Andre, and... Uh, It'll be nothing more than a consolation for Brazil at the moment. With just 14 seconds left on the clock. But uh, still, it will uh, give the scoreline from a Brazilian perspective a little bit more of a pleasant feel, shall we say. And Politov coming in to have uh, a little bit of time on the sand at the end of this match. Leonov saying something to Andre. Politov, who's played a good part in this tournament for Russia as well. He's actually scored three goals, as well as being uh, excellent in goal for the champions. He's got to face Andre now, though. 
Andre steps up and scores. Seven four, but just 13 seconds to go. And not even uh, the 13 times world champions can score three goals in 13 seconds. And he absolutely hammered that, didn't he, Andre? His third goal of the tournament. And uh, that uh, betrayed a little bit of frustration, I fancy. The power with which uh, he hit that shot. So 13 seconds to go, 7-4 to Russia. And that was the 150th goal of this tournament. And that's the 151st. And appropriately, it's the Russian captain, Ilya Leonov, who's got that goal. The captain leading from the front, his third goal of the tournament. And that gives the score line a very convincing feel indeed, doesn't it? An interesting decision by the uh, Brazilians to put one of the smallest men in their side, Benjamin, on the line. Oh, in fact, it's not counting. It's going to be retaken. Well, that's frustrating as far as Russia are concerned because it was a beautiful strike. But there was a problem in terms of encroachment, I think. The Russians celebrating on the touchline already. Look at that. Likachev. Trying to whip the fans up as well. Fourth officials down there saying, look, calm down. You haven't won it yet. The game's still going on. But the Russians know it's just a matter of seconds now. Ten seconds on the clock remaining. Before they are confirmed as retaining this Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2012. So, second time lucky, perhaps, for uh, Russia. Shishin with the shot. And again, some encroachment, according to the official on that far side. He's not happy with uh, something Bruno Malayas has done, I think. He's coming over to uh, speak to the official on this near touch line. And in fact, he's booked Shishin. Not sure what's going on there. Hugs from uh, Likachev to crash in Inikov. This is all very confusing. At the end of it, Shishin's been booked. Been booked for encroaching, uh, I understand. Crossing the halfway line before the, uh, the kickoff was taken. Russian fans. Absolutely delighted, and why not? Salgado, Maradona, and a host of local dignitaries as well. They've been treated to an absolute feast this evening. 8 7, the third and fourth place playoff between the UAE and uh, Nigeria. And now 7 4, this one. 26 goals in two matches this evening. Five seconds to go. It's all over, and Russia have retained the Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2012, and look what it means to them. Look at the reaction. Players, support staff, all of them absolutely delighted, celebrating in front of the Russian fans, and why not? They fully deserve it. What a performance in this final by the world champions. They've annihilated Brazil, seven goals to four, they're back to their best. Four goals for Shaikov, two for Makarov, one for Shishin, and Brazil simply didn't have an answer. Likachev, the coach, being thrown high in the air. The dignitaries, they've enjoyed themselves, I'm sure. They've been treated to an absolute masterclass of beach soccer this evening by this Russian side. Their fans ecstatic. And uh, goalkeeper of the tournament, Andre Butlitsky. And 
handshakes all round. But Litsky won the Golden Glove in the World Cup last year. And he goes away with some silverware once again. Congratulated by Diego Maradona. Not sure what language they'd be speaking those two together, but whatever it is, it's prompted some smiles from both of them. But Litsky, a real character. Every time he goes on the pitch, he kisses the posts before each period of play. Well, it's worked well from this time. And here's the uh, top score in the tournament. The one little consolation for uh, Brazil this evening. Fernando today, two goals for him tonight. And a total of 10 in the tournament. He also scored three against Nigeria, two against Switzerland, and a hat trick last night against uh, the UAE. Hat tricks galore in this uh, tournament. He had uh, in total 11. From Team Russia. Three of them tonight. Number nine, Shagol. Giving the uh, the man who scored uh, four goals tonight. And he's been named as the MVP, the most valuable player. He certainly came into his own at the back end of the tournament. Four goals tonight. And that followed on from uh, four goals against Nigeria in the semi-final. Nine in total in the tournament for him. And Igor Shaikov very much back to his best. 32 years of age. Member of the Locomotive Moscow side that won the Club World Cup earlier this year in May in Brazil. So it's a, a happy evening for uh, Russia. They seem to be collecting the majority of the silverware there. Photos with all the uh, successful players then. Fernando today. Butlitsky and Shaikov. Smiles all round too. So, we're going to have the team awards now. And the book at the bottom. In the third place, and the bronze medal goes to UAE. And uh, it's the, uh, the bronze medal, first of all, the UAE. And it's Kamba Sadiki with uh, the bandage around his head after that collision with uh, Ghana Emeka. The captain pops up to receive that third place. Congratulations all round. Well done, the UAE. They finished fourth last year. They lost in the third and fourth place playoff to uh, Switzerland on penalties after it finished 4-4 last November. But this time, they won an absolute thriller. 8-7 against Nigeria in extra time with uh, a hat-trick to Rashid Ahmed and, and Rami Abdullah scoring a spectacular Jorginho overhead Brazil. to give them victory. Now Jorginho comes up to receive the, uh, the runners-up medal. Brazil then, two occasions they've been here in this Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2012 and two occasions they've come away in second place. I think they will reflect in their heart of hearts that this evening they were well and truly outplayed by Russia and they were just a little bit off their game in this tournament, it has to be said. They could easily have been beaten by Japan in the group stages. They won that one 6-5. Beat Nigeria easily enough in their opening encounter, 6-3. And then they uh, just got home against Switzerland thanks to a late rally, having been 3-1 down. Got back to one win 4-3. Team Russia! Here come the Russians now. They're the winners. Presented Fully deserved the applause they'll be getting. Maradona. It's going to be Maradona who's going to present the trophy. The uh, ambassador for Dubai Sports Council. A hug to Mikhail Likachev. Thumbs up to... Again, I'm not sure what language they'd be speaking, but... 
fireworks going off in preparation for the, uh, the trophy being handed over. All the players getting their chance to uh, shake hands with the great man. Gail Salgado is in there as well. And that banner says it all. That's what we've been here for. And Russia are the champions. And very shortly, they will be lifting the trophy for the photographers and the world's media. And for you, wherever you're watching this. Russian fans celebrating. And there we are. Ilya Leonev lifts the trophy given to him by Diego Maradona and Russia retain the Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2012. They're the best side in the world, they're the world champions and they've underlined that fact with a fantastic performance here. 7-4 in the final, fireworks going off here at Dubai Festival City. It's been a superb tournament. 150 goals, Russia scoring 32 of them, and they are worthy champions. Sixteen games then over the course of five days, involving eight of the world's best teams. Switzerland, Japan, Russia, the USA, Brazil, Nigeria, the UAE, and Tahiti. And at the end of it, it's the world champions, Russia, who are going to go back to Moscow with that fantastic trophy. We are the champions, is played over the public address system. And that's exactly what this Russian side are. Their fans love it. The trophy shared around by the players. Great setting for this tournament, Dubai Festival City. We really have had five days of beach soccer of the highest quality. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage here. This is Brian Murgatroyd. And we look forward to seeing you again in the future.